Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge. At Madden. Yeah, so if this is the first time here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above, click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel release a video. Remember that this channel is not an entertainment channel. You know, entertainment channels give you a hybrid between 10 to 15 minutes. This is not an entertainment channel. So you have to go elsewhere if you want entertainment. Remember to give this video a thumbs up because you will find it helpful and informative. Please remember to share the video with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mama, papa, side chick or side man and tell them to tell a friend about the Jamaica Young Police channel. You can join the Patreon squad by doing so you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions. To unlock this untapped collection of videos, click the link in the description box below. Joining our Patreon community allows you to explore contents that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to our channel's functionalities. You'll be able to see videos and you'll see photos, photographs, names of persons who have been killed and are and still waiting on justice like Rifle of the British crew, one of the British of the, uh, of the British crew and you'll see the people who are involved in the killing of these men and others including Douglas Chambers who was killed by PMP criminal organization members and it, it came from the top and to date the person, our person who have given, given that order has not been arrested and charged for that murder. So you can go to Patreon and you'll be able to see the face and name of those person. So thanks for your continued support and we look forward to providing you with exceptional content. So moving on to today's video. As you know we always start our video, we always, you know, um, to our loyal viewers and subscribers and members of the Patreon team, we always say, you know, look at the LCD. So right now you're looking at a man um, by the name of Gummibear. And you know, Gummibear is a white man. You know, white people. Anything a white people want in the world, them get it. Yeah, if white people say they want to marry to a house, yeah, them government say, all right, cool, you can't marry to a house. Anything where white people want around the world, them get it. Because I just saw the system designed for white people. Anything where them want. So you're looking at right now, you're looking at a man named Gummibear. Yeah, so Gummibear is one of the most dangerous um, foreigner, you know, in a Jamaica, you know, that can become a prime minister. Yeah, Gummibear is not a Jamaican. Gummibear is a foreigner. So, as you look, um, based on information received and allegation, it is alleged that Gummibear, yeah, man, Gummibear, how, how, did, how did the PMP criminal organization leader escape carnal abuse charges in Jamaica? Yeah, so you know how it, how, you know how it is in Jamaica. So, um, them say that he was married in 1990. Um, you know, when pretty much, you have a thing when you are, you have various people where you can coerce people to do things where they never, they never plan for do. But you know, say so white people, anything where they want, remember you know, during slavery, the white man can just, just pull up on a, 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 black, a black female or a black male and do anything where they want because they feed them property, they are God. So, we can see where um, this man is the most dangerous man ever. You know. Remember the first white man, um, that started to destroy the fabric of Jamaican morality, decency, love, and started to divide the people. It was a man named Michael Manley. This man, Michael Manley, 
uh, he might try to be like a Michael man, but guess what? There's nobody in a, um, in a Jamaica Labour Party with a pushback on him. You only have two people in a Jamaica Labour Party with a pushback against um, Gummy Beer. And that's the man named Everal Warmington. You know the Prime Minister threw him under the bus. You have to sue the same Gummy Beer and, and the likes. Because I'm try to say, oh, civil society. Civil society don't know who the PMP criminal organisation is about. Warmington, what, what, the statement that Warmington make had nothing to do with any political retribution. He wanted to make a statement. You understand? Never say anything out of the norm. But I saw him stay in it because he's weak. He's weak and come like some jellyfish. And going to be you know that. So he's weak and them things. Because going to be you know that he love power and everything he wants to do. Politically correct. Because he's not a leader. We're not a leader for Jamaica, you know. Yeah, no, there's no leader for Jamaica right now. The only, honestly, the only person in the GLP party apart from Warmington, where you see, we have Spine. A little, a little black brother with him, Nigel, Nigel um, Clark, yeah, Nigel Clark. So that's why, we, yeah, we support the, the two-term thing, yeah. We, yeah, yeah, no, no, you know, this unlimited thing like where, you know, you understand, that's what happened before. Two, two term or three term, and you go on, you understand? Because them people in time get power, they don't want to let it go on and behave like it's a thing that is, them inherited from their ancestors or them relative or them will it to them, so they don't want to let it go. And the power is the people's power. So, right now, you know, it has been come to the fore that this man is the most dangerous man in a Jamaica. You know? He said, anything where he wants a Jamaica is a foreigner. You know? Anything where he wants, he get it. And I just saw it go. You understand? So, you have one man. Um, and, you know, in a Jamaica, carnal abuse means to say you have sex with somebody who is under the age of 16. And that is statutory rape. You understand? In a Jamaica. So, um, based on information, received an update allegedly that. Um, Gummy Beer, him, him just see um, the young, the him wife, we married to Sandra. Um, Sandra's parents were, you know, work with his family, you know, as gardener. Him, him wife, she a dressmaker, you know. Yeah, Gummy Beer's wife is a dressmaker by trade. Nobody know Billy Claire or anything like that because I'm wife. But you have to understand how him arrived by how she get the title wife because at the time in time, him see her, him just say, give me this and him just swallow her and take it. Because she doesn't have the age of consent, she can't give consent. So literally that's how it is, you know. If you don't have the age of consent, that means, give me this. So that's how Gummy Beer get her and then know when everything happens now, you don't know the um, the family. And you understand, the family say, hey, look here. Because at the time, you know, Gummy Beer was labor writer and them thing there. And they say, hey, this is how it will be, you know. You see that, you're married to Sandra or we go to the police. You understand, so I saw Sandra become wife. By default, <laughs> yeah, Sandra become wife by default. But I just saw it go on them things that Sandra think you understand. And yeah, they're married and have some beautiful kids and you understand. We're not take the word from from them. But gummy beer is not Jamaican, you have to remember that. And, and don't make people fool you, you know, cause you know saying a Jamaica you can't buy anything. Man can't all back back stamp all them bird certificate or fast or all it. We say all police, we all in our police force for fifty years. And wait, and some man has said, wait, oh, this is a police in the force for 50 years. He must have all him, him, him breed a bird service ticket that serve. I hit him use and get somebody to change it up an admin. So when him join the police force, him in a 10. Based on the years of service where him have. And guess what? They don't charge him, you know. They just, alright, squeeze them out and, you understand. Um, that him, put, you know, make them kick them out of the police force. But children now embarrass the police force. Yeah, you know, so that's how it is. So we know, so when... Uh, people for Gummy Beer say, uh, you know, say, you might Jamaican and in barn here, but no, but which hospital in barn? We in barn? Which nurse? So, you know, say, in a Jamaica, you can't create any kind of documentation. You understand? So, we are sure you know why Gummy Beer is a dangerous man. You understand? So, when you hear them talk about, say, boy, they are for the children, I lie to them, I tell them, remember me tell you that, that our children were, were them not like, but once them like the, the child, yeah, that the child is good, good to go. And I just saw it go. So the age of consent in Jamaica is 16 years old. And this means that individuals who are 16 years or older are considered legally, legally old enough to consent to participation in sexual activities. And if you know sexual activity, sexual activities don't mean that you jump on and host up and jump off and all kind of things. Sexual activity means that, yeah, you know, um, the North Pole, North Pole connected to the South Pole. Because, you know, it's have to be unlike poles. Nothing like poles and them things, you understand? 
And we say like poles, you, you, you're supposed to can't figure that out. Because everybody's smart, you know. And you understand? When we are telling about poles, because some of them going to talk about, we are talking about um, light poles. No, we're not talking about that. We are talking about poles. We just I use a metaphor when it comes to poles. You understand? Light poles, like poles repel and unlike poles attached. So it have to be unlike poles. That's all they might talk about. When they must say age of consent and enough enough to participate in a sexual activities. So you know, yeah, yeah, it means it's a boy. That means what they might talk about in a Jamaican law. Because everything now you have to be careful. They must say, boy, you yeah, hurt people's feelings. But I choose, I just saw it go on them things, they read mama papa chose. So it means to say a man, yeah, a man will have a, a third leg and him soldier can stand up and a woman we're willing for you know um willing to open up the gates to every free man come in and the, you understand i just saw it go so why we're gonna be you know boy because the girl mother uh, uh you know work with the family based on information allegedly yeah gonna be you just say oh just give me that and him just get it because i'm white so i see him to see him when we go about the, the the prime ministership and you know say yeah, as we tell you, you know, the Prime Minister is spineless, you know. Because him now no, him now no attack dog now, you know, he attack them, you know. Because Warmington say, oh, me now do nothing for him again because him threw him on the bus. And time you've been betrayed still, you know, that's how it is, you know. And them see the opening, so that's why they might go feed, they might go feed kill. So he'll do anything now. Anything now. And guess what? You see the same tactics when they use against Edward Siaga. I they might use against him, you know, because Siaga, all of the years when they might tell life on him, he just don't respond. You can't do that with Jamaican people. Jamaican people are the easiest people to believe anything. You tell them to cow jump over my moon, I'll believe that. And the fool, they may even tell them, see, yeah, yeah, even tell them see the things right in front of them eyes. Them can't ignore them content because they have been programmed like that. Especially people, them who are PMP criminal organization supporters. So right now, you look at your LCD, you look to your left, yeah man. Hey look here, we're not, um, we're not promoting a party or anything like that, you know, but as them say, you have two evil and one of them are lesser of both evil. Honestly, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we could never ever um, support the PMP criminal organization because all they have been doing is destroying lives. But most of the PMP criminal organization supporters them are sitting there. Because guess what? Them lazy, them licky licky, and them thief. And most importantly, them lies. Them are liar. Majority. If you if you know an honest, an honest PMP criminal organization supporter, show me one. Them lie. May I tell you that? I do want some of my go and them. Live around them, you know, and see them and them thing there. Yeah. I, 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 hey, there are so many things, instance and example for show you all them evil. You understand? Boy, may I mean, I tell you, are some dangerous people. So, you know, so we continue the journey. So, on your left now, as you look, that is Andrew Oldness, and that time, him and, and Juliet Oldness, his wife. So, Andrew Oldness got it through consent, and he put the ring on it. Yeah, as we be to say, boy, if you love it, you put a ring on it, and, and that's how he do And he do it through consent and a true no fear nobody never have no imaginary gun never put to him head either you're married to her or you got a jail look to your right now you look for a gummy beer a gummy beer that's you know all right so him allegedly got it you know outside of the purview of the of the laws of jamaica you know and this is not for the speedy gonzalez you know because i know so they don't understand they must say what 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 am i talking about what what yeah so yeah, Speedy Gonzalez, I know so I don't understand that. I mean, now I'm going to try to break it down for you because even if you break it down for you, I still don't understand. So, I mean, this conversation is not for you because we know so we can't change your mind because we don't wire that certain way. You understand? We don't have no problem. We don't just come like the Maroon, you know, we take side with the British them against our ancestors to keep us in slavery. And we don't do the do same thing. We don't do the same thing right now. A man who burn down Jamaica and... and, and and, and rule over by ashes. You understand? So the reason why we do this video now is because there are so many things that has been happening and people are saying, oh boy, you're here now. We are show you how, how mature, mature um, you know, the labor rights are. You know. Although we say, some, we say some very damaging thing about the labor government. You know. Yeah man, because the appointment of commissioner, police, corruption continue. You know, say not one labor right attack about it. But I can tell you, you know, I call and 
I defend defend the the, the, the administration for appoint this. This man was spineless, the man with a um, pink brief. Yeah, yeah man, you understand. Alright, we can't say alright. Okay, uh, you know it's a real admiral that we a white brief. Real uh, you understand. Our people them in a real admiral club are you know them will play around in a real admiral club because they want elevation in a some in a society. You understand? So you know them with a pink brief, you understand? Because I just saw it go. Yeah, so them appoint a man where him, you don't know him pretty much him like jelly. Jelly, yeah, yeah him spineless. Because him and the police, you know, him the police was over when him at 30. When in my time, 30 at the thirty at the age. So a man when him at 40, when, him, when a man over 30 and jelly, but what kind of so and this a man that he ever got a coat. So the late, no labor never attack you and say, boy, you know, we are PMP. But now we're going to talk about gummy beer now. You're going to hear them. Boy, we know say you're a labor. Yeah, man. And we, we, we stick it to you. And we stick it to your good. Yeah, so I'll be telling them, so boy, gummy beer does. I saw white people saying anything where white people want them get it. So him now, gummy beer fees, you know, him that Jamaica because. Remember, say gummy beer a foreigner, you know. I'm not Jamaican, you know. Foreigner. So we have a foreigner. Two foreigners we have down there, you know. Gummy beer. One of them did a jail for murder. Silvera. J uh, Jalan Silvera. And Gummy Bear, two of them are two British men, you know, the man of Jamaican, you know, you understand? But based on how the British, you see the British now, along with the two white men, they will sell you out, the one named Buster Manti and um, Norman Manley, that, I'm, that I, if, if first, the first white man will start destroying Jamaican people, mind, you know, I met, we, I met them eat each other. That, this, that Gummy Bear, you know, because I'm saying, uh, you know, I eat Michael Manley, do, and I saw him become popular and people love him. So I eat him in, in stoke, you know, man, I invoke violence and eat it in the people, them. Psyche for them eat one another. Cause we never have political violence here from nineteen from nineteen eighty, you know. That it, it the gone, you know. And not even when what not even when when the embed fresh prince, the thief in this we are talking about thief, you know, from the PMP criminal organization. We're not even you know, OPG partisan sleep at night time, you know. You understand? And during film time we never have them problem there. But you know, um gummy beer, uh, him him we see my push it up on them thing there. You understand? So, as we tell you already, say, remember, say age of consent in a Jamaica is 16. However, individuals age 15 or younger in Jamaica are not legally able to consent to sexual activities and engaging in such activity with, with them may result in the prosecution for statutory rape or equivalent local laws. So, in a Jamaica now, um, and like America, you know, where parents can say, uh, you know, so my daughter. Um, and a fifth, um, my daughter and a 16, and you can have sex with her. But if the parents them consent and say, All right, you can marry to her, a wife and husband, so you can prosecute the husband if you have sex with the wife, although the wife and her age. That kind of a, a white man set up all them things there, you know. Yeah, a white man law that because I saw him stay, you know. I, 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 I want to tell you, say, holy papi, enough people not even know this on them thing there. You know, say, grandfather, grandfather can't trouble your granddaughter. Yeah, we say, yeah, the grandfather can him can put him soldier. Him can use him soldier and play with him like with him with a little or big granddaughter. Him can't do that. But guess what now? You know say grandma by law, you know. Most of them know this by law, you know. You know say grandma can use a little grand grand him little grandson. And say come grandson and put him in little thing and you understand. And give him some hula whoop and them something. There. And that legal under the law, you know. Uncle grandmother grandma alone, you know. I old white woman them do that you know. And grandma alone, legally and I like can do that you know and get away with it you know. And that's legal you know. Yeah, they yeah, call them and say boy grandma old. So boy, I tell you, hey, them people are easy you know. So we are counting for sure. Say boy, hey, this man is dangerous you know. From him young you know, him dangerous you know. You understand? So we continue the journey. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, say so, go maybe you used to go a Woolmas you know. Yeah man, you used to go a Woolmas. Yeah, gummy beer you still got Ulmas. So we continue we, we continue continue the journey. You understand? So it is essential to respect these legal boundaries and ensure that any sexual activity is consensual and within the bounds of the law. In Jamaica, the sexual offences act set clear boundaries regarding sexual activities involve minors. So let's break down the scenario. Um age of consent yeah, the age of consent in Jamaica is 16. This means that individuals aged 16 or older are legally able to consent to sexual activities. 
So my them kids there, you know, we are 16 and them t- them, ki- them not supposed to involve in a, indulge in them things. Because most of them can't even sign them name. So we have seen even something happen now where um, the guy at the bottom, Julian Robinson. You know, I'm a, um, I tried at this Edward Warmington because, yeah. But guess what now? And Warmington kind of been major in them thing. But Warmington for tell him, say, in a parliament, say, hey, look here, you know, guy. I ain't never killed no police yet, you know, no police blood no on my shoulder, you know. Yeah, I make them know that and them thing there, cause remember, you know, female and bodyguard, you know, alleged detective sergeant seems you know. I him ordered it for them kill the policeman, you know. The same brother where you see them white bottom, you know, Julian Robinson, you know. And Everett Warmington never do that. You never hear me mention for killing the police yet. And that these guys are past law like Jamaica, you know, people you like kill police because they are issue gun to black people for kill other black people. Because they want power. And the boy them where get the gun, them, them feet say them bad. And feet say the gun because the gun, you know the bullet, you know. Most people don't understand, you know. You see gun, you see gun, gun or something make people feel like they have power, you know. I tell you that because I'm a police. Yeah. Me mature know and them thing. You know. When me a young police and them thing, you know, when you have gun, when you have a gun, you have you feel powerful. You don't feel say nobody can do anything. Because you have a gun and you can kill you can kill people and defend yourself. But remember now, remember now. My grandfather, you know, yeah, my grandfather say, you know, say you see bullet, the bullet remind a man of a penis. That's why people love gun. Cause most men were locking down there, them feel powerful up there. So when you as a politician now give black people gun now for kill other black people, what that's about you? And look, you see what I go on right now with Portia seems similar. You see, all Uno, all of Uno were responsible for the death of Jamaican people for Uno stay in the power. Uno go suffer, you know. If Uno, Uno no suffer, Uno Pitney go suffer, you know. You see, I'll go my beer. Just watch what I go up to feed him offspring them and, and grand Pitney them. Remember, me tell you, the blood at the blood of rum punch and Sweeney is on Gummy Beer's shoulder. You understand? The, go, the, the, the blood, the blood of of Sweeney and Rum Punch, the youth, them, the youth and the woman where they kill a Gregor Park for make, um, for, you know, make way for the PMP criminal organization, them, that blood and, 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 and gummy be your shoulder. So nobody feel say you're going to escape. Remember me tell you that. And Julian Robinson, you're not going to escape from the death, the murder of Detective Sergeant Courtney Simpson. You could have all blood. You and your pitney them, you, if I know you pay for, you, you're going to suffer before you live in You're pitney them going pay for it. Cause you kill this, you make them kill this man, and the police them will kill him, and then them free him a PMP criminal organization youth. In it, film gun not even match the bullet. Them will come out of a policeman. Them are gonna pay for them for them sins too, you know. You understand? Hey, look, hey, look, man. Me say a whole heap of police with some wickedness, you know. I may I tell you before them dead, me see them a suffer, and me see it all right with my own eye. You understand? So nobody feels that you know wicked, and people can glorify on a review. You know, God because you know go pay for the sins. You understand? And for Uno, for, you, you know, you, you have a leader of your party who, you can't say, boy, pretty much is a Leicester. You understand? Him is a Leicester. Yeah, man, Leicester. Because anything with Leicester say, more that I go my beer, he might forget it. Yeah, him say, he might forget it because I'm white. So Leicester come in our country now, and Leicester say, he might be prime minister by any means necessary. And then now the bosses leave them start around behind him. And all kind of decency I go through the door because we don't have nobody in a Jamaica with no core beliefs in the PMP criminal organization. Because through them, 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 hey, them can't kill police, them can't kill this, them can't kill that, and them can't, and, and them, yeah, just like how them kill Douglas Chambers and none of the big wigs them got prison, and nobody will thief how much billions of dollars from JUTC got prison. Because a PA criminal, everybody will look out for them friends. Because, boy, me and a man, they are friends. We are neighbor with two different parties, boy. Well, we are friends and all of these things. You understand? I just saw it go. And that is really, really sad. So, we continue the journey. So, we tell you, you know, man. No man, if you have sex with children, and at the age of 16. You understand? But, in a Jamaica, you know, once the man married to the child and the permission of the parents, that no, that no absolve the man, you know, from the crime, you know, before, you know. You understand? Because there's no statute of limitation when it comes to so In a Jamaica, we don't have a statute of limitation to no crime. Not even assault. If you beat a woman all 300 years ago and them things, then 
You understand? And the warrant is there. They can't execute it, man. You just saw it go. We don't understand your limitation in our laws. It's just the other day, and I see PMP criminal organization in them. Um, in a lock in, um, the law, you know, where um, the, 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 the man, the chairman for the NWC, NWC, national, them couldn't charge him and them hold the report. I, I pay a criminal around the thing, you know, the thing corrupt, you know. That's why ugly, that's why, um, Gummy Beer you know, saying, you know, what him do, you know, um, with, with, with Sandra, you know, him don't know, saying, you know, walk through the park. You understand? I look up at and say, give me that. You understand? Yeah. And so she not get, that's why she not get figure um, finish school. Because so now she become wife and, and mother at an early age. You understand? Before she was 16, allegedly. So if you hey, go to be your wife, you can, 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 can um, you know, contact the Jamaica Young Police Channel and dispute with, um, you know, you understand? And correct the record. But this is the information that is out there. You know, we just work with it. We don't have slander gummy beer. If we have slander gummy beer, gummy beer, just come and say, hey, the information is wrong, you know, and correct it until we say, yeah, so it's gone. We just make correction to it because we just, we just, it's an allegation. Them say, boy, gummy beer is a man where him love, him love them under 16. Because all that him to do, him just see her and say, give me that. Just like back in a slavery and everything there. So white people used to treat black people. So me no racist. Racist, what so me for racist? Racism is a system. Me no racist against gummy beer. What? If me racist against me, I'm not racist against my own grandmother and my father. You understand? Yeah. I'm not racist. Yeah, I can't do that. I pee you I'm not all racist all against all other people in my family and all them things. I'm not me me racist. Me I love everybody and them things. Yeah. From you love me, me love you. You don't love me, I'm not love you. I'm not a fool. Me, you understand what I'm saying? Me, me and I know Jesus. I tell a man that all the time. You understand? I'm far from the glory of God. I still do it. Still have conscience, decent, ethical, uh, honest, but me and God. I'm me and Jesus, me and the Son of God. You understand? I'm not forgive nobody in about 70 times 70. I can't try, but boy, that's a whole heap. 70 times 70 are 4,900 times. Right? Who, 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 if you count? No, sir. Boy, one time is enough, sir. I just saw it go. So, yeah, so, you know, we continue the journey. So, you have parental consent. So while parental, parental consent may be obtained, it does not override the legal age of consent. Even with parental permission, sexual ac activity with a minor below the age of consent remains unlawful. Marriage. So this applies to gummy beer. Remember, say, um, Andrew Wallace, you know, he said, boy, if you love it, put a ring on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, or if you like it, put a ring on it. And that's how him do. Yeah, nobody never put no imaginary gun to him and say, hey, if you're not married to my daughter, you got to jail, you know. And he just said, boy, hey, you're better be married to her and you got to jail. And I saw it go. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you understand. So, if you have a little pity and all them things, I want them go around, go maybe, or you think that, you know, yeah, it's on you. You understand? I just saw it go. You understand? So, if the man marries the minor, it does not automatically exempt him from prosecution under the Sexual Offences Act. That are working in Jamaica. So, as we tell you already, say, you know, not because Gummy Beer married to Sandra, that means, uh, you know, based on the information received and the allegation against him, yeah, that not absolve Gummy Beer from, from this, uh, you understand, under the Sexual Offence Act. Marriage does not serve as a defence against statutory rape charges. If the minor is below the age of consent, there is no statutory limitation in a Jamaica. So, if the police them know this, they still can pursue it. You think if Gummy Beer was Prime Minister and him know this, you think, hey, the way that brother here nasty, you think Gummy Beer wouldn't go at it? Because Gummy Beer is a man and all the shame, you know, man. Remember me tell you, you know, I want dangerous people. Hey, him, when him done with Jamaica, man, me I tell you. And guess what? We have a, we have a Prime Minister where him weak, him weak, him weak. Him, him need to start live weight. Or maybe him, need, maybe him need to hang out with Warmington and Nigel Clark. Because Nigel Clark, for a man where Nigel Clark can stand up for himself. You understand? Him not, him not, him not, him not, him not a surrogate out there if you attack them, you know. You understand? The only surrogate that out there where you say defend him, that the man is silent now, is Warmington. Because he him fire Warmington and then him tell lies, say, uh, Warmington resign. I saw him dangerous. I don't know no honest liar. You understand? I never meet one in my life yet. I tell you that. I don't care what I'm doing, you know. You understand? If I'm a guy away from here, I'm dead for thirst. Remember me tell you that. You understand? So we tell you already said marriage does not serve as a defense against statutory rape if the minor is below the age of consent. 
Legal implications if the man engaged in sexual activities with the minor below the age of consent, he could still face prosecution under a sexual offensive act, regardless of parental consent of consent or marriage. So not because Gummy Beard did marry to Sandra and them things that once she under the age of sixteen, Gummy Beard still could be charged him still can be charged with a crime. Yeah, because there's no statute of limitation in a Jamaica. But guess what now? We are telling the we are telling the other thing now about that now. In a Jamaica, a wife can a wife can testify against her husband unless she wave unless she says, boy, oh, I'm going to testify, you can't force her to do it. And in a, in a large Jamaica, you can't force people to give statement. Only police and soldiers, you force to give statement. I lock them up. Because, yeah, Jamaica is a criminal state, you know, it's a criminal state. Yeah, you know, say in some country you have, you have um, police state, Jamaica is a criminal state. What do you mean? Then if on the police, if police you can't force the security force to give statement, on the criminal, on the criminal would I do something like that? So it's a criminal state in America and them thing that South Beach across in a South Beach in a Miami years ago in a 2012 police environment a shooting killed man and them thing and them saw him and oh one of the police decided to him not writing a statement and when they reached the court, uh, 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 the court uh, you know the Seventh Circuit, oh the judge them panic said oh. The police have the same rights as a citizen in America and the Constitution to waive him rights or to remain silent. So, him saying no wrong in a statement, I just said, end of the story and send it back. And the lawyer, they say, oh boy, are we a pay man, them thing there. So, they appeal and then it goes straight to the Supreme Court, upper DC. And the Supreme Court say, what? Well, the police, they have the same rights as a citizen of, of the United States of America. If he wish to remain silent, remain silent. If he not commit no crime for you, lock him up. You can't do him nothing. He said not write no statement and all them actions are justifiable. What you want a statement for? If you want to sue him, you sue him in the department. That's it and if they want to defend it, then defend it. And throw it out. Oh, boy, you hear all of the, 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 the whine of them start whining and this and that. In a Jamaica now, so America now is a police state. In a Jamaica, Jamaica is a criminal state. Because in a Jamaica now, when you are police, you know, I police free, I, 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 I lie, you know. Not the criminal, you know, because the criminal, like, the criminal them enforce the law in a Jamaica. What do you mean? The police, them, the police, them are not figured. And not them, them not, not, them not, not control over the law because the law force them to give statement. So it's a criminal state. That's why we tell us that Jamaica is a criminal's paradise. You understand? So that's why Gummy Beer, you know, can see Sandra and say, oh, give me that. Yeah, and take it. What do you mean? And you know, so it go because she had 16. And see, no, I'm married. I'm married and them thing there. And them have, them have three kids. Yeah. Uh, you understand? Uh, yeah, gummy beer, hey, gummy beer. I'm on a decent still, though, you know. Remember me telling you that, you know? From a long time, you know. And, hey, whether or not you want to believe it, we never say, not even Michael Manley um, used to behave like that, brother. But guess what, now? You see him? Him ratchet up everything, and, and here, you know. Them know, say, them know, say, the Prime Minister, him thin skin. And them know, say, him weak, and him spineless. Them know, say, every little thing. Them know, say, they know say every little thing him can him not gonna respond on them thing because he want to say him above board and him decorum. Him not understand you know. when he deal with corals, you know. You have to face, you have to meet the corals in them right upon the ball field, you know. Like a bully you know, and deal with them. That's why them not like warming time. That's why they got in time in fire warming time, you know. And him not understand chess game. You understand? Them just use um teeth in meadows, cause meadows are finger smith. And then them, yeah, boy, hey, we I get rid of meadows. See meadows still there, meadows not going nowhere. No, we are. I don't like him keep Meadows out of the party. Because Meadows have secret for him. Remember, say Meadows was a thief in a uh, Jamaica Labour Party. And then recruit him, say, come. You understand, right? I say, you, you know, you have a home here because you're a thief. You understand? I just saw it go. But, hey, they're not thinking. You, know. you understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, so moving on. So, in summary, you know, the age of consent remains a critical factor. And any sexual activity involve, involving minor must comply with the laws. It is essential to respect legal boundaries and prioritize the well-being of young individuals. So Andrew Wolness, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, was in a consensual relationship with his wife, Juliet Wolness. Yeah, man, and he put on the ring to solidify the marriage and relationship. So he said, boy, yeah. And, and guess what? You know, so the, the work activism in Jamaica, them, they want to make it all illegal, you know, for man charge to rape, you know. May I tell you, you know, yeah, the same activists them. 
You understand? Say them a man for charge to rape after he married to a woman. And that was the only reason why a man married to a woman. Because he loved her and want, you understand what I'm saying? They must say, boy, some of man them abuse it because when the woman want, she don't want to have, she don't want to you know, give it to the husband, he just take it. Uh, and, and this is what I say on them things. If a man have a wife and he have a problem on them things, hey, you just sign the next woman, you understand? I just say, uh, expe- hey, look here, in a Jamaica, very rare a man, a very rare a man have one woman. Whether I'm married or not, Jamaica that, I culture that. No cure a man has said, boy, I'm this or I'm that and them things. Even all the wife knows that she has to get born because it's part of the culture. No, you understand? All if your mother, your mother and your father, you know that your mother has to your, your father will care go look care of you as his son, go look for him next to man and tell him he's a cousin. But you don't go back and tell your mother because you don't want a problem. I just saw it go. You understand? Some man do that, but the man will respect him children and him wife and him wife or him be him not go do that, but some dirty man they will do it. I just saw it go. You understand? So when them stays and all this guy know him at this uh, Warmington, Warmington will remind him and say, hey, look here, I never kill no police yet, you know. Yeah, man, no police. I'm reminding him and show him it. Say, yeah, see, Courtney Simpson there. The blood of Courtney Simpson you know, is on your shoulder, you know, guys. So, I don't know you come, you understand. Me and you know, see him. Yeah, you know, see him. So, you know, so we are continuing to provide, you know, additional context regarding Andrew Wallace, the Prime Minister, and his consensual relationship with his wife. Juliet, wholeness. So it's heartwarming to hear about a committed and lawful union indeed. When a relationship is based on consent and both parties willingly enter into marriage, it's aligned with the principle of a healthy relationship and legal boundaries. In this case, no crime were committed under the Sexual Offences Act in Jamaica. So the year that long, so Andrew Wallace, the Prime Minister, is married with um, Juliet Wallace. There is no crime that uh, no crime commit under the Sexual Offences of Jamaica. Sexual Offensive Act in Jamaica. So may their marriage strive and find joy and fulfillment in their sheer journey. So it was them married, no no fault, no harm, no fault. So no crime commit. So the marriage now of opposition leader, the foreigner, you know, Gummy Beer, yeah, that are Mark Golden and his wife Sandra, carries a unique and complex history. So we are tell you what happened on them thing. As we tell you, you know, say, um, Gummy Beer, um, you know, um, Gummy Beer family, them, them was the employer. You understand? Of Sandra family. You understand? So she did that, them, the day her work, and Gummy Beer see her and say, Oh, give me that. Because I'm white, you know, when I'm white, them take anything. I just, them, not, them not ask it, you know. Remember, you know, our ancestors, you know, were rape, brutalized, murder, everything where you can think of that's evil, what them do to them. You understand? Yeah, man. Give me that. And you have to just call them, say, I feed them property. And them used to have all service tickets, say, them own, own our ancestors. Yeah, far we're coming on, we're still not there yet, because them still in charge. We now have no talking and nothing on them things. Now, our, hey, our homeland, I have the rich, richest continent in the world. But yet, still, it's more underdeveloped and, and the poorest. Because we have all thief, all, all corals and thief as, as prime minister and president. Or thief in black people, them. You understand? You can't, you understand? You, you know, see? Every minute I pay a coup, them everybody hungry for power. Nobody now want the country. Everybody's all about me. I saw it go with black people. No. So, here's a foreigner come now. And it's a foreigner now, you know. Divide up with people again, you know. We did unite as a people, you know. Labor right and PMP, everybody did good, you know. Until this, um, this, uh, this man, you know. Him bad up, um... Peter Phillips, you know, and them yeah, and take over a party, you know, yeah, through terrorism, you know. So I see them PMP criminal, but you know, say, them not here, because you know, say, them licky licky. You just give them food for one day and them sell them soul and them are hungry for the rest of 365 days. Because them not like work. Them lazy, them licky licky, them socialists, them liar, and them thief. Uh, 98% of the people in a prison of Jamaica are from the PMP criminal organization. I will say that without any apologies. That is what the data says from the Department of Correctional Service in Jamaica. 98%. So at them are the ones who commit the crimes in Jamaica. Even the police even send me the data since the last election and I show me the the the, the, the chart. I wish for all of the murder them the, the majority of the murder them are coming. A PMP community, you know, you see if I live in a labor community, believe you me. You understand? So we continue the journey. So, yeah, so, you know, as we tell you now, so the marriage of opposition leader Mark Golden and his wife Sandra carries a unique and complex history. 
So let's expose some potential lessons that can be gleaned from their journey, resilience and transformation. So their story ref reflects resilience and transformation. Despite challenging circumstances, yeah, because true gummy beer see her and say, give me that, yeah, and him take it, because she under 16, allegedly. Yeah, you understand? So their story reflects resilience and transformation. So they, they, they navigate adversity and evoke evolve from a potential harmful situation to a commitment partnership. So when we say harmful situation, yeah, yeah, go maybe you could have got a jail and end up in our Spanish town. Or a GP and treat my foreigner now. Well, me don't know if them could have deported him back to England. You understand? Yeah, we don't know how they do it. Because you understand. Me don't, me don't know. Me don't know if them could have deported him. Because he said he claim him claim Jamaican heritage and them things, but he might not, he, uh, you know, go maybe you're not Jamaican. You understand? So, so even difficult beginnings can lead to a positive outcome if approached with their determination and love. So, yeah, go maybe you're, you know, although him did just see Sandra and say, give me that, it eventually become love. And I saw them continue them thing. So, forgiveness and healing. So even under challenging circumstances, Gomebeer's Beer, Gome decision to marry Sandra suggests a willingness to forgive and heal. Because I you know, yeah, in time you're young, you know, people make mistakes and them things, but boy, Gomebeer, uh, yeah, I'm old and Sandra, you know, so you don't know, say, he never really have that person, that people skills where he could have get a, because you understand? Yeah, because even an impurity, I say, boy, you know, we're disappointed in your mark, and you're, you know the reason why they must say that, because through Sandra, black, uh, Sandra, parents now, them see Sandra parents below them, uh, you understand, as, as you understand, Sandra parents below them, because they work for them, oh, Mark put himself in that position there, and look what, you know, look how much big, rich people we know, and them thing there, and them have data, and you understand, them data, them, you know, look like Sandra, means it's a true Sandra Black, you understand, but Gummy Beer, yeah, you understand, so them stick up, uh, the family put an imaginary gun to Gummy Beer, and say, boy, he's either, you married to with daughter, or yeah, we go to the police station. So them say, alright, no, we do that. Because we are Christian and all them things there. You understand? So forgiveness and healing, yeah man, forgiveness and healing are powerful tools in building lasting relationships. Acknowledging mistakes and choosing love over resentment can lead to profound healing. So the thing is that now, you know, it's not like it's not like say um Sandra never wanted to, you know, but Sandra. So don't get it wrong, you know, Sandra, by law, Sandra could not consent. Because law said, eh, you can't do that. You understand? So although Sandra give it to him, legally Sandra now, no, since Sandra now have no, Sandra can't give permission because law said Sandra is 16 yet. So it's illegal. I, I wonder if, when I talk to you, Speedy Gonzalez, because you, if you head now all in a circle and all them things, and you go to all, when they say you're giddy and you drop off or you cheer or you drop because you head a spin. We don't talk to you, because we don't try to convince you. Because you understand, you're, you're fast. You understand? So, so whether it was love, you know, you know so dear enduring marriage implies sheer purpose and values. Whether it was love, responsibilities, or desire to create a stable family, their commitment aligned with their vision. So the lesson, a strong relationship is often built on sheer goals and values. Having a clear sense of purpose helps weather challenges, evolution of roles. So, Gummy Beer, that a Mark Golden transition from a situation where he might have faced legal consequences to become Sandra's husband, highlights the evolution of roles. They move from a potential harmful dynamic to a legally recognized partnership. Lesson, relationships evolve and roles can transform over time. Adaptability and growth are essential for long-lasting unions. Empathy and compassion. Gummy Beer's decision to marry Sandra. Through force, yeah, cause it, yeah, he never do it willingly, you know. Remember, say, yeah, it's like putting an imaginary gun to Gummy Beer head. Tell him, say, eh, yeah, is he there married to my daughter? Or we got the police station, and you know, back then. Because at the time, you know, it is still it is still have a remnant of Siaga conservatism in a way. Hey, for him trouble little pitney and them thing in a straight yaga straight a workhouse in and them try your case fast. 
You understand? Although a PMP criminal organization and Gummy Beer at the time now, Gummy Beer was a labor right in family, a labor right family, you know. Gummy Beer and a PMP, you know. He said Gummy Beer is a come from a labor right family. Because white people are a whole in a Jamaica. Nine out of ten white people are Jamaica are labor right. Because, yeah, because white people don't believe in it. Yeah, what do you mean? They don't say you go. And we support that too. White people don't believe in it. I say, oh, me if you pay taxes and then you give to somebody where out there dig out him and me go. So go maybe you believe in that, you know, but go maybe you know, when well, you have power, you just go and um, scam them. You understand? And go maybe you know, say, when they come on to them thing there with Siaga, them couldn't go to Siaga with that. You understand? Yeah, them couldn't go to, them, them couldn't approach Siaga them with that and them, because they couldn't get no coverage. So I'm just married to Sandra. So, yeah, ma'am, so moving on. So, you know, so empathy and compassion are vital in a relationship. Yeah. So, you know, so Sandra through force suggests a sense of responsibility and compassion. So go maybe here, may have considered her well being and the impact on their child. So her three children them have no one them thing and you understand. Or um, uh, three or five or yeah, something like that. Add number. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand? Go maybe here. And Sandra, we see them with three kids, two two girls and a boy. You understand? And you know say so all of them are gummy beer. None of them look like Sandra. One of them look like gummy beer. Yeah, and him daughter them, yeah, well, nah, you, you can't take them, yeah, them thing them. You understand? Empathy and compassion, compassion are vital in relationships. Understanding each other's perspective and acting with kindness can strengthen bonds. Commitment to family, despite the unconventional start, their marriage endure. Their commitment likely extend to their child and any subsequent family they built. So you listen to prioritizing family and commitment can lead to lasting love. Nurturing family bonds contribute to relationship longe longevity. So the narrative of redemption from victim to wife. Sandra's journey rep represents redemption. Their marriage transfer her status and narrative. People can rewrite their, their life story. Love, support and positive choices can lead to redemption and empowerment. In summary, the Golden's marriage teaches us about resilience, forgiveness, shared purpose and the transformative power of love. Their journey reminds us that relationships are multifaceted and growths often emerge from unexpected beginnings. Opposition leader Gummy Beer that is Mark Golden has been involved in various discussion and controversy related to Jamaican laws and governance. So we just argue some background about gummy beer, you know. So yeah. So let's explore some relevant aspects. All speaker and government transparency. During the budget debate in the House of Representatives, Gummy Beer that a Mark Golden raised concern about the government's transparency and accountability. So here now, the, so all gonna be come to this now, you know, they mention said they're gonna release the FinSAT report. So you know the FinSAT report, you know, yeah, that is like check me, the FinSAT report in you know, show us all gonna be getting riches so or him get rich at the back of Jamaica. Them rob them rob from the rob from the rich. But yeah, yeah them rob from people who are rich. Take away all of them riches and them take it and them thing there. A man also has value all $10 million and them sell it for all $20,000. One of them friends, public don't know when they must sell it because a thief, they must thief your thing. Yeah, man, Omar David, that's why I'm sitting now. And he must go suffer, he must suffer before him dead, you know, because I saw God work, you know. You understand? And enough of them, all when they got them, they beg God, do, do God kill me. But the reason why they don't want to commit suicide, they don't want to leave no stain upon them family. So they get all kind of drugs, they take them out of them pain because they're wicked, you know. You understand? I just saw it go. Yeah, some wicked people them. And them know say God not sleep, you know. So, yeah, man. So, uh, him, uh, him, him a suffer, man. And him a suffer until him dead. Yeah, because them wicked and um, Peter Bunting. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 guy, the, the guy where have the batty face. You understand? Yeah, I just saw it go. You understand? So, yeah. So, gummy beer now. You know, so. Doing it, as we tell you now, gummy beer, him is concerned about the account. And him pointed out that. Having the head of parliament as a spouse of the head of government might not align with tradition that the speaker should have acted independently of the government. So Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark criticised Golden's approach 
emphasizing that disagreements should be addressed through proper channels rather than indirectly attacking someone's intellect or character. But you know, you don't know say a straight bad mind now with, with gummy beer, you know. Yeah, so I tell you now, you know. So you know, say it's a PMP criminal organization support them get it from from this channel. Yeah man, one like a rear admiral guy where lie, you know, but him come from um him, him come from Lizard Town. Like as a whole heap of people say I lie Matel cause over film side I did PS soldier and General Starkey and um DNA, DNA a rapist, yeah man, he used to power will you he, hey, I'll him you soon hear about him man. I'll, hey the, the brother they are liar they know liar boy. Yeah man Patrick I want liar yeah man, all corrosion, lie. Uh, Ten thousand liars spit in him out. The real, and him a real admiral. Him not nothing, not cheat, not child. Lie, but he my grandfather. But all the, the man are wicked. I imagine every children they matter about. Cause I'm a real admiral. I uh, him, you know. Remember we tell about like poles and unlike poles. I uh, him in I like poles thing. So him can like poles not produce nothing. You don't get no, you don't get no positive mess. Um, no positive. Energy from like poles, unlike poles, you understand? So, if you, you, you know, see, not, this is not for the speedy Gonzalez, them, you know, you understand? So, moving on, yeah. So, Dr. Nigel Clark, yeah, man, Nigel Clark, uh, him, hey, may I tell you, say, not even, not even the Prime Minister, not even can match up to that brother, yeah, and them thing, yeah. I'm a feast that I eat that bread, honestly, my feet, that brother, yeah, my feet say, him have some, kind of, like I say, I mean, you know, him talk about crime and them thing, yeah. but yeah. But him have spying on him thing. Him not still like him not still like the prime minister. The prime minister still doing you know, it. Whether I not want to believe in it, I do believe if we ever have a dictator in his Andrew is going to be that in you know, or Mark Golden. If Andrew, yeah, may I tell you that in you know, a yeah, I just saw it go. Cause anytime, anytime you see people them e them them ego easy for hurt. You know, say, they, you know, say them love boys, so them not go and get up and that's why I make sure him I put everybody in a position on them thing. That's oh, I, an idea. I just them control everything. I just saw it go. Yeah, you understand. So we you know we're moving on. You understand. So yeah, man. So Nigel Clark put him in him place, you know, and tell him say yeah, you know, you, you can't I disrespect him. I disrespect the woman still doing you know? it. And for him I attack um Juliet um wholeness. A bad, a straight bad man, a bad man. Look, like, him got him got trouble. Look up it, you know. That's why female wife not get forgot finish school. Because you understand what I'm saying. So she you know, she a dressmaker, allegedly, we don't know. I saw them say. So she a dressmaker. So she never take care of her children them. Where am gonna trouble the man why? I just straight bad man, cause I'm not have nothing for the Jamaican people. You might tell all the people them say boy, uh, vote for where I'm return Bob Marley in that era. What kind of madness that? I take them for take all nanny half of the era list and put tacky on it. Nanny was a traitor to we as black people. And then they'll make the same white people then come down a foreign or a, a divide we as Jamaican people. You understand? Still, the next white man this now, you know, I come one burn down Jamaica, you know. Just like Michael Manley, you know. You understand? So we we'll continue the journey. Yeah, so so yeah, so gonna be your choice of words as also drawing attention, referring to someone as little boy can be seen as disrespectful and carries historical connotations. Language matters, especially in public discourse, and respectful communication is crucial. In summary, Gummy Beer that are Mark Golden, actions and statements have sparked discussion about governance, transparency and accountability in Jamaica. Its choice and words are closely scrutinized as a public figure and lesson can be drawn from his experience. You understand? So as you know, so in, in the video we delve into the age of consent in Jamaica and the legal implications surrounding sexual activity involving minor. It's crucial to understand the boundaries set by the Sexual Offences Act to ensure compliance with the law and safeguard the well-being of young individual. Individual. So Mark Goley, you don't know him, blur the line because his wife, based on information received and obtained, she was under the age of consent, not over, under. She would never reach the age of consent when him say, hey, give me that, and him, him get it, and him get, get a baby. And you understand, and then the parents say, uh, put an imaginary gun to him head, either he married to a daughter, or we send a straight to work house. You understand? So, I just saw it go. So, you know, Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Wallace and opposition Mark, Mark Golden scenario sheds light on the importance of consent, forgiveness, shared value, values, and relation co commitment. Their journey offer valuable lessons on resilience, transformation, 
empathy and the power of redemption. So we also explore Mark Gold, Mark Gold in at a gummy beer involvement in the discussion on governance and transparency in Jamaica, highlighting the significance of respectful communication and accountability in public discourse. So you know Mark Gold is a man, he may say anything in you know. it. The man is not care in it. The man is say, hey, hey, the man, hey, lie or spit in that the man is more than a man. He's lying in a man. He's a man, I'm, but he's not a shame still doing you know. it. But he don't know between me and you. You know, say most. PMP, uh, most PMP criminal organizations supporter. You know, so them hand over for them bring to the PMP criminal. Them can't think. Yeah, if them smell, if them smell deed and the leader tell them says roast beef, them say yeah, them ready to roast beef. I saw them stay. Them can't think. We well, tell you that. Hey, look here. Before we lie to you, we don't say nothing because we know that. We just tell you a real mama papa show. So yeah. So these individual and their actions contribute to a broader narrative of Jamaican politics and society. So discussions surrounding the age of consent, marital relationship and governance, transparency are essential for promoting understanding, accountability and progress within Jamaican society. As public figures, leaders like Andrew Wallace and Mark Golden play crucial roles in shaping these dis discussions and addressing societal challenges. So moving forward, moving forward, policymakers and citizens must engage in constructive dialogue and uphold the principle of justice, respect and integrity to foster a more inclusive and equitable society in Jamaica. So you don't know, you know, hey look, all right, so you know, say so you have one law for the man downtown and one uptown. You see man downtown, you know, he get all, him get neighbor six, uh, and a six, and a 16 year old daughter pregnant, you don't know, say that. The mother, the, the mother, her father, not gonna tell him, say, I have married to my daughter and them things. You know, now, not at any time, him not have nothing. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So, the man goes straight to the police. Uh, and the next thing, you know, is either the man got a prisoner, or they have to go move, to get evidence against him, for him to go to prison. You understand? And it happens all the time. As a year, a woman, um, her brother, him involved in a robbery at Mandeville. If your husband, I see him thing, him do. Yeah, just hold on. I, I look up at him and say, hey, give me this. And he got him got prison. She said for two years she not go look for him. Till one day she said, boy, she come from prison and she said, Boy, why me go look for this man? When me did marry to him and him gone uh, him, him gone go mess with little pitney and them thing there. No sir, me no want me no want nothing for do with him and them thing there. No sir. So she just cut him off just like that. Two years ago she said, boy, she's got prison go look for him. You understand? That's all loyal because she should love him. But in time one day I look about the squaw off in the island and she said, No, me know that. You understand? So I just saw it go. You know, see it. So, you know, so we'll go over, you know, let's get an understanding of what we have been saying. So the age of consent in Jamaica is 16 years old. So any child under the age of 16 now can't get consent. Whether or not them can tell us to take it or and, and guess what now? Most of the time where the, um this is how the men them do, you know. Them lie to you know, yeah, them know say a little pitney. Me I tell you that. Cause you don't know so we are old detective. Them, them, them know, say, I look up at me, hear them say, Boy, you know, say, she tell me, say, she has 18. That's why, you, that's why, we know trouble, pit, you, you, know, you understand? Any, t any um, person you talk to, you must be able to identify, say, them past the age of 16. You understand? You know, mess with bone about body. Boy, them look big on this and that. Them think they are lie. You must know, say, I pit me and them thing there. You understand? But I so, to some, some of my mother, them, them licky licky, and them want, and most of the time, the man, them are give mother, mother them money. You understand? Them allow them pretty much, you know, pretty much, um, you know, put out them, them daughter out there. And sometimes all the mother to involve with the man. A dirty people, them, you know, may I tell you, you know, yeah, man. I saw it going to Jamaica. So, as we tell you already, say, the age of content in Jamaica is 16. You understand? When Gummy Beer, you know, see Sandra and say, give me that, she never read 16 yet. So, whether or not she, she glad feet and them thing they say, this white boy, this white man, you understand? You know, see, like the days of slavery. Because them time, you know, them say, black people has them property, you know. Yeah, man, we, black people never have no rights. We still have no rights all now. I just, they, yeah, they just, you know, say you have rights. Them now, no, we don't have none. You understand? Because it's just so it goes. So, we continue the journey. You understand? So, this means individuals who are 16 or older are considered legally old enough to consent to participation in sexual activity. However, individuals aged 15 or younger in Jamaica are not legally able to consent to sexual activity and engaging in such activity 
with them may result in prosecution for a statutory rape or the equivalent local law. So you know, in Jamaica, we know, you know, like America, we have state, we have um, federal, state, local and city law. No, I just want to control Jamaica. When I tell them, they want to say, boy, yeah, you want, they want, you know, like a governor, you have Cornwall, Miguel Second, sorry, but because the whole of them love power, they say, no, we're not in that kind of thing. We're not in a, in a three different um, jurisdictions. One, everything is from town, from the capital. You understand? So, we continue the journey. So, it's essential to respect these legal boundaries and ensure that any sexual activity is consensual and within the bounds of the law. Yeah, and we believe in our law. You don't play with it and them things there. You understand? As we say, all of these things are just allegations. We, we, don't know, we don't know Sandra and we don't know Mark Golden and this uh, information we receive. You understand? So, we don't say, yeah, say, uh, you understand? Because we, we don't know them and we don't know, you know, uh, how, you know, how, the, how it came by. But you yeah, are just based on information we receive. Because even of all people where know Mark Golden say, him and them, you that river and all of them things there. Call all him friend, them and all, all kind of thing. But them didn't know so Mark Golden and labor right a long time from them ago. You understand? So, you know, him, him know for uh, marketing and them things, like a white man, you know, not, not, you understand? So, in Jamaica, the Sexual Offensive Act set clear boundaries regarding sexual activities involving minor. So, let's break down the scenario. Age of consent. The age of consent in Jamaica is 16 years old. And you got some people, boy, you love to repeat yourself. So, how oh, you going to learn? If we now repeat, I'm going to tell you what, what this, the topic is about. So this means that individuals age 16 or older are legally able to consent to sexual activities. You understand? That means they're unlike. They might, Jamaica law and I deal with unlike poll. Now, not like poll. Now, see them, see them, nothing on them things. Now, so Jamaica law say. You understand? We are talking about where, 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 where British them give you, you know, see them, enslave them, you know. And then they want to tell you, say, ah, you know what, what we'll say? Nobody work with that, you know. Work with this, you Because know, we are saying, I like Paul. And we are saying, no, we don't go where you are saying, because we are talking madness. You understand? So if the minor is below 16 years old, engaging in sexual activity with them would be considered statutory rape under Jamaican law. It's a recap we are doing. You know. So parental consent. While parent consent may be obtained, it does not override legal age of consent. If with per parental permission, sexual activity with a minor below the age of consent remain unlawful. So all I want to oh, big man out there, I try to be a little pitney them and all them things there. Yeah, you understand? You don't need, you don't, you don't need to go straight, straight to work house. So marriage, so if the man marries the minor, it does not automatically exempt him from prosecution under the Sexual Offenses Act. Marriage does not serve as a defense against statutory rape if the minor is below the age of consent. But guess what now? Here's the caveat you now. In the same um, sexual offense, you say once the man, once a wife and husband not included in it, a wife and husband, a wife and husband. Legal implication. If the man engaged in sexual activity with a minor below the age of consent, he could still face prosecution under a sexual offense act regardless of consent or marriage. So that they must say, boy, if the man married to the minor, he still can't charge with it. But guess what? The wife now giving a statement against the husband because of your husband. They're married. Oh, yeah, unless, and guess what now? In, a, in a, our court system in Jamaica, the police can't go to court, you know. And like in a Mark Golden case, because we're on a statute of limitation, and you know, he can't go to court, you know. And say, boy, well, this is a Sandra Bird certificate. Um, Sandra Barn, so they married 1990. So Sandra would have born 19, put it at uh, the most 1970, um, Sandra born 1975. Yeah, uh, you understand? Uh, if she even born 74 at the time, when time them get married, she never read 16 yet. You understand? So, yeah, so, alright, so, them, you know, that, that, that's what happened. So the police don't, in a Jamaica, can't go to court and say, well, we charge um, gummy beer, yeah, charge gummy beer for carnal abuse or statutory rape based on, at the time, his wife, yeah, that's a Sandra. And you know, bring our birth certificate. So you know, if you apply to uh, RGD, um, you know, RGD, yeah, RGD, yeah, that I register depart, yeah, that I will deal with death and birth and all of them things. Yeah. And that I go through now to the um, director of public prosecution. And by doing that now, 
you know, the police, the police can go to court and say, well, this is the birth uh, you charge gummy beer. Because if you have a complainant statement, well, a state can be the complainant. And like in the United States of America, in, a, in America now, yes, the state in America, the federal government now, them can use the, them have to use the complainant. Them use the birth certificate and charge the man. So yes, the, the age of the child and them thing at the time. But Jamaica now, all oh, them set up the line, the last day, is that, that's why we tell you, say, you have police state and you have criminal state. Jamaica is a criminal state, which is a criminal paradise. You understand? So I just saw it go. So nothing would happen to him. So nothing can happen to him. In spite of all of them things. The only thing you can say, boy, oh, you know, <laughs> you're a Lester. You understand what I'm saying? And if you know what I mean, Lester, you know, them, like a short term, and in, instead of saying, I said, boy, child, um, Lester, you understand? Yeah. So I just saw it go. So the age of consent remain a critical factor. And any sexual activity involved minor must comply with the law. It is essential to respect legal boundaries and prioritize the well-being of young individuals. You understand? So as you know, say, you know, so any relation when relationship is based on consent and both parties willing to enter in marriage, it's aligned with their with the principle of healthy relationship and legal boundaries. In the case with Andrew Wallace and Juliet, no crime committed. So may their marriage strive and find joy and fulfillment on the journey. So you know resilience and transformation that I know um, you know Mark Golden. Yeah, so the marriage of opposition leader Gummy Beer, that a Mark Golden and his wife Sandra carries a unique and complex history. So just remember, you know, the forgiveness, healing. And you don't know them have a sheer purpose and values. Them have children. If I like them, them have all grandkids now and them thing there. You understand? So you don't know Mark Golin. One thing with Mark Golin, you know, him no hey, him say anything will come my mouth and him apologize and nothing. It's just like how him lose all the election the other day and him say him win. Dangerous man in you know, and the man a foreigner, you know. But hey, look here. And him know say him know say supporters them in a PMP criminal organization. Him know say them licky licky, you know, and lazy. And him just know how, you know, him just know for rile them up on them thing there. You understand? So him want to talk to people them now for um, for you see them lazy people them, you understand? Because them lazy, you know, they don't like work. But I tell you that, I just saw it go. So, have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.